Today we have the stereo out of a 2003 Infiniti G35. This is also the same stereo out of the 2004. There are a variety of problems with this stereo. Uh, one is no display on the stereo. One is uh, the AC controls cannot be changed or adjusted uh, along with the stereo controls not working. Uh, this may, but you may find that the stereo can be adjusted from the steering wheel. Uh, we've also seen the CD changer have a problem and attempting to load or eject will give a three beep, meaning the mechanism is either broken or jammed. Uh, sometimes we've seen the radio dead. We've also uh, seen a battery drain with this unit. Uh, today, this unit, when hooked, hooked up on the bench, the uh, AC controls work, but there is no display for this radio. All the buttons work on the face of this one. Uh, again, it could be a variety of these problems. could be one of these problems, or it could be all. When these are sent into the shop for repair, we do take care of all these problems that have been mentioned. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, separate the what the dealership calls the audio finisher board from the car stereo. Uh, this is, with the freezing controls and so on, this is not an audio finisher problem. This is a car stereo problem. Uh, the headquarters for Infinity and your local dealership probably says this is an audio finisher problem. They mentioned that there is a uh, recall on this. You may want to check to see if you've had the recall, but uh, this is not going to take care of the problem. Uh, let us show you how to take this apart, separate the audio finisher from the uh, stereo, and tell you what we need to see in the shop for repair. Uh, we've uh, set something down on the mat to protect the face of the stereo to keep it from uh, scratching because we're going to disassemble this. Uh, or go through the steps for disassembly. We've practically done that already here. But uh, there is usually a big metal bracket that holds the stereo into the AC vents and, the, and to the audio finisher board. And to remove this uh, mounting bracket, we start with two screws that would be uh, located one here and one here. These are usually copper in color. Uh, down the side here, we will have one screw here that will... Uh, removed from the bracket from the face and one just above it here which we have presently just for uh, testing this stereo in the shop. So I'm going to remove this one. Uh, on the opposite side as well there will be two screws right here that uh, hold the bracket on and this bracket mounts to the car stereo. So we're going to remove this one that we have uh, used here to uh, for testing in the on the bench here and remove this screw. After removing the six screws that uh, hold the uh, bracket onto the car stereo, we come down to the bottom of the car stereo. This is the uh, ribbon cable here, and it connects to the audio finisher right here. And in order to release this ribbon cable, you lift up the sides of it. And the little sides tend to lift up, and what this does is unlocks the ribbon cable, and you're able to wiggle the ribbon cable free. And this is the ribbon cable. Now, we've seen if these have been in and out of the car one or two times, you are missing this blue tab on the ribbon cable. This could also be a problem as well. Now, with the ribbon cable removed and the six mounting brackets, you can remove the stereo from the front face. Now, this is the audio finisher board that the dealership is talking about having problems. Obviously, the car stereo through the ribbon cable connects to the audio finisher board. This is the car stereo. This is a piece that is needed in shop in order to repair all the problems that I have mentioned here. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, concerns about uh, repair and so on, see us at Car Stereo Help or try giving us a call or emailing us. Hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.